someone commented on one of my videos like a probably like two weeks ago saying give a full pet tour i make most of my tiktoks around my pets but on youtube i don't really make too many videos with my pets you know anything about my pets so today i'm making a full pet tour i will show the enclosures i'll tell you what i feed them everything their personalities their names i did get new pets i did get new pets i am constantly getting new pets yay it's plump all right so plump um was actually named by a subscriber they suggested plumpy which i do like plumpy but i decided to go with plump um but yeah this is her she is so beautiful my only female um reptile well at least i think uh yeah she's a leopard gecko her, when i first got her her tail wasn't on and it already is growing back i don't know if this is the max it will grow looks like maybe a little bit more will grow but it is growing back so that's fucking amazing she is so beautiful i can show you her enclosure um she she seems she seems like a really low maintenance pet honestly like she really doesn't need much she just eats a lot of mealworms she hangs out in her little rock climbing her little rock that she has her she is so cute isn't she the cutest isn't she the cutest her eyes are just so human like i hope you can see her one So here is Plump's home. Very beautiful home. She likes to hang out in there a lot. And then over here is a little bit more dark. She really loves to be inside this Capri Sun container for some reason. There we go. Oh, she's in her. She's in there now. Of course, there is the famous Cheddar. Cheddar, can you? Cheddar is, um, I think she's like five years old now. She's a big, hefty boy. Big, hefty boy. I just got her a new collar. Has a little tie on it. Isn't that adorable? She, I've had her since she was a little tiny kitten. So we have a really close bond. I've never had a pet for so long, honestly. And um, going forward, I'll keep all these pets until they die. Like, when I was a kid, I got so many pets. And, like, you know, my parents didn't actually want to have pets. So we had to give them away. We'd have to throw them outside, whatever, but as an adult, that's why I have so many pets, because I wasn't allowed to have them as a kid, I think, um, so I'm gonna keep these pets until they die, Cheddar, I love her so much, she, um, I love how she's, like, a rare thing, because she's a female, but she's, um, an orange cat or something, I, I forget what they say, but, yeah, so that's, that's Ched my Steve. Can I grab you? Yeah. Here's Jughead. Whew. I'm sorry, Juggy. Here's Jughead. Uh, he doesn't want to be held right now. Jughead, just chill out. He doesn't want to be held right now. But this is him. I don't know how old he is. I think he's like three or something. And um, he eats a lot of millworms. A lot of millworms. Um, I feed him like 50 a day. 30 to 50 a day. Cheddar, are you sneezing? Cheddar and Jughead are pretty cool homies. Like, they're getting closer and closer. You can go. You can go, Juggy. You can go. I'll show you his enclosure. This is it, like, right behind me. I do need to clean it, though. But, yeah, this is it. He loves to sleep up there and that thing. This is where I put his food. Um, yeah, every time I clean it, though, there's, like, hundreds. Well, okay, not hundreds, but, like, at least 50 millworms underneath this mat. So that's kind of annoying. I think that I might give this one away to fucking um, nature because I, yesterday, pretty much yesterday, I, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, either way, a few days ago, Cheddar was hanging out on the floor and there was a fucking dead animal in front of her. At least I thought it was dead. It was a mouse and this is the mouse. I literally thought this mouse was dead. I got gloves, I got a paper towel, I was about to like just throw it in the trash can. But that little fucker was alive. So I ended up throwing it in this like old reptile container I have. Put some cat food in there because it really loves cat food. Put a bowl of water in this um, granola bar thing because, uh, yeah. I really, like you can't even see it because it's inside there. But um, the little guy's in there. 
Let's see. Maybe you'll maybe you'll be able to see. Also, I could just add a picture here. Um, but I'm kind of thinking about just giving this guy back to na to the wild because he wants to be in the wild. And I don't know if I even want to pay for this thing. I would have to buy an enclosure. I'm just not too sure. So this is another random animal I got. Um, and also, sadly, the same day, I actually came across another one of these. I don't think that they're, like, infested in my place or anything like that. Cheddar just brings them in here. Like, she brought it out from the outside into here to, like, play with it and to kill it. And she just didn't kill it. But the second one was dead on the floor. And I thought it was going to be another live one. I was like, awesome, my mouse has a friend, but that guy was actually dead, so, yeah. All right, we got my geckos. This is a crested gecko. This is um, Noodle. His full name is Indomie Noodle, but Noodle for short. Um, I never really call him Indomie Noodle, but I only named that because I love Indomie Noodles. So, yeah, this is Noodle. Um, this one, I think, might be a female. One of my, like, followers, subscribers on Instagram, whatever, Hit me up and said, oh, you have, like, this one looks female. So, yeah. Bit smaller and uh, just very funny. I love this guy. The, my crested geckos have such different personalities. This one is just very, I don't know, jumpy, not as social. Um, and since since they are a little smaller, they actually, like, hot, like, if I go into the enclosure to try to grab grab him like he'll crawl behind the thing and i can't get to him so it, he's really flighty and like kind of annoying but yeah very cool i fucking love the color and um oh there you oh you are such a cutie i just love how small this little guy is so adorable so yeah this all right here's my big boy this is juicy um juicy juicy full name is uh juicy boy but um this one is a uh, different personality so this one is definitely a male i do think the other one's female but i'm gonna keep calling him male because who fucking cares so this guy you know i got him without the tail he's also crested gecko got him without the tail i really love how he looks these guys were both 50 bucks they got him from a reptile convention from the same owner or whatever same store and um yeah i really love this guy he is such a beautiful color he's very i called him juicy because He's very fat. <laughs> I don't know. He's very juicy. The juicy, juicy guy. But this guy, though, I think he's like, I don't know the word, but I think he's in a mating season or whatever you call because he, he makes a chirping sound. Maybe you can hear. He, of course, he wouldn't make it. So he's making, he makes a chirping sound. And he also been biting me. But at first, he bit me like three times. At first, I thought, oh, he hates me now. You know, I make too many videos with him. But no, I, I looked it up. And since he's like chirping and he bites a little bit, nibbles a little bit, it doesn't hurt or anything. It seems like he is just wanting to mate with someone. It's just that time. So he's very cute. Um, this guy, he's a little bit more chill. Um, he is very jumpy though. He's more jumpy than Noodle. But yeah, he's really cute and I love him so much. His eyelashes are so cute. He's such a cutie. He's not that cutie. You're such a cutie. He does a lot of lip licking. Um, and yeah, super easy. These crusty geckos are super easy to take care of. I kind of like to trade off. I make all my TikToks with them. I like to trade off the week so that they, they don't um, get annoyed at me. But yeah. yeah, I can already see this guy's growing. He grew a lot since I got him. So yeah, super chill. Love this guy. And here is their... Ooh. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Hey. God. All right, come on. Get back in your enclosure. Get in there. Get in there. Hey, stay in your enclosure. All right, so these are their cages. I have this cool misting system. I turn this on, it gets all misty in there. And they love the mist. They love the mist. I, I just feed them um, this stuff and it's pretty affordable. It's only like $15 maybe a month, so. Yeah. New pets I also got were frogs. So I have some terrible news. I had a frog that I found. I told you guys I found a frog. So I did end up finding a frog. Look at this guy. And I wanted to get him some friends. So I went on Craigslist and I found free frogs. All I had to do was buy the like terrarium from them. And they 
uh, gave me four or five. I'm very iffy about it. I don't know how many of the game except four or five, so no clue. So let's just call it four. They gave me four frogs in the enclosure, so I went to go put my old frog in that enclosure and tell me why that frog wasn't in there. I have no clue where that frog is. So lost the frog, no clue. It's in here somewhere. Maybe Cheddar got to him. I have no fucking clue where that frog is, and I feel really fucking bad. Um, so, but I got these four new frogs. They have a huge enclosure. And they're so adorable. I feed them mealworms. Hey, don't jump. I feed them mealworms and, um, oh, oh no. Look at this guy. He's so cute. He is such a cutie. But I gotta bring, I'm gonna put him back in his enclosure now. So yeah, this is the enclosure. I just got this misting system. I put some plants in there. Got the plant, got the light. And uh, it's pretty large. This thing is, I think, three feet. So... They love it so much, but they have snuck out before. I came home from work, and they were, like, out. So I had to figure out a good way of, like, hot glue gun that thing shut. So, yeah, there's all my pets. So what do we, what do we got? I got two uh, crested geckos, one leopard gecko, a bearded dragon, four frogs, a cat, and then this mouse I'm going to give away, and the bird I gave away. So minus the mouse, minus the bird. Um, let's see here. How many is that? One, two, three, four, eight, nine. So I have nine pets. I'm going to go and, uh, throw that mouse outside because it's a no for me. I don't think I'm built for a mouse as a pet just yet. Maybe in the future though. And I just feel bad because he's been living outside all his life. I don't want him to have to live in here. So anyways, yeah, there's my pet tour. Um, let me know if you have any questions about any of these pets or anything i may i don't think i'm gonna get any pets for a minute though now even though i really want a snake but 